Hi, Tom here, and in this week's video, I'll show you a simple way to draw a horse. In this drawing, I use a 4B pencil, but any pencil would do. First, draw a circle. It can just be a rough circle. It's the basic shape for the front of the horse. Next, draw a slightly smaller circle on the left, leaving a gap about as big as the small circle. Now we can draw a big oval to fill this gap between our two circles. Next, draw two lines from the biggest circle going right, and they get near each other as they get longer for the neck. Now draw a small circle for the top of the head, and then another circle, slightly smaller, for the mouth area of the head of the horse. Then we can join these two circles together with two short lines. Next, draw a circle for the knee of the front leg of the horse. Again, we can join this circle with two lines. Now we need another smaller circle for the end of the leg, and then just two narrow lines to join these circles together. Then we could draw a wedge at the end for the hoof of the horse. We can repeat this process for the second front leg, but this time I'll draw it going straight down to the ground. You could have both front legs going straight down to the ground, I guess. Now we can read across the height of the knee of the leg on the right to find the height for the circle for the leg on the left. This circle needs to be perhaps slightly left of the centre circle above it. And then the lower part of the back legs will come forward. Again, we can repeat this process for the last back leg of the horse too. At this stage, we could add the ear and maybe some marks to indicate where the tail goes. So all we've done really is just block in the basic shapes of a horse first, rather than add any detail, which can happen later. Next, we can smooth out some of the lines, building on these basic shapes that we have. Horses are very powerful animals, and I think it's a challenge to draw the power, but also the elegance of a horse. You could add some spirals to your drawing to indicate the form of the horse. I find that helps sometimes, so that you get away from just drawing the outline of a horse, but start to think about the 3D structure within it and then you can sort of find the lines for indicating bits of muscle and bits of outline later on. We could also block in the eye, the nostril and the mouth, but everything is still in a sketch form at the moment. The next step is to raise the lines that we no longer need. In this sort of drawing, I think it's best to, to draw the basic shapes first, but then to be very willing to correct anything that you think you can improve just by erasing that one area and redrawing it rather than erasing too much. I will draw the ears going forward. Then once you are ready, you could add some tone to your drawing, some tonal value. For this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil and I'm gonna make the horse quite a dark tone, but I'll leave some sort of reflected light in it, maybe using and eraser to get the highlights back in. If you'd like to learn more about drawing, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com.
If you'd like to learn more about drawing, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com. I post a new video every week, and please subscribe to keep up to date. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.